so either fellows right now it is hot outside inside a car you'll have nothing to breathe especially in an older one like this back then they weren't even aware of air conditioning but here's what i suggest we try this is a radiator that's meant to be cold a compressor that's used to pump stuff and another radiator that's supposed to cool things down and i suggest we piece all of it together fit it to this car and set up not just an ordinary AC, but a really powerful one. Like in that video about the Jetta, the one that you can't seem to get away from these days. With the AC blowing snow and everything, and though I've never driven in one myself, apparently it's very cold inside. But let's make our own cheap and super cold AC old gum. I guess we start by removing the main radiator, free some space up front, get rid of the factory cooling fan, and do some test fitting. The C radiator is going to be placed right in front of the main one. To improve the AC's efficiency, we're going with a bigger main radiator. Right now we're making holes in the firewall, in order to route the tubes to the evaporator. To keep things simple, we'll be using an assortment of parts from various cars. The AC radiator and heater assembly are for a Mazda, the main radiator is from a Toyota of some description, as is the AC compressor. Don't know where the tubes came from, but we've done some bending and welding, connected everything, and now this should work somehow. This AC system is much the same as you'll find in pretty much any car, though we have modified it. We've removed any sensors that we're not going to need, that would have been monitoring the temperature of the evaporator. The compressor is going to be constantly on, and ideally we want it to produce snow. So look, we've put together the system, kept it as simple as we possibly could, Now it's a matter of creating vacuum and checking the system. Right here we have this thing that is used, um... I don't know what it's called. A pressure gauge and some dials. But we're about to vacuumize the system. The manometer should tell us everything. We got a pump right there. So let's go ahead and pump the air out. Leave everything alone for a couple of dozen minutes. See if the vacuum can sustain itself. If it does, that means we're good. That means we are good to go. So let's check the system and then fill it up, let's go. Okay, we made this work, we are done. We've charged the system. And we had a good reason to set up the air conditioning. Look at this. Not too long ago it was plus 30 degrees Celsius outside, now it's 29. Things are getting so hot that it's actually scary. Especially when you're inside a car, particularly one this old that never came with AC from the factory. Now this car didn't have AC, but we've put a system together, and a rudimentary one, with the bare minimum of sensors, electronics and so on. There's just the compressor that's pumping the gas, it's cooled down in the evaporator, from there it's back into the compressor and that's about it. Okay, well, now I suggest we try the system out to see how it works. And away we go. Oh, oh. 
As soon as I drive out into the sun, uh, yum. It is really hot. But enough talk. It is getting pretty hot, so let's turn that AC on. See how effective it is and how I'm going to feel in this sort of heat. Okay, well, it's not blowing in my face, but this feels good. I can feel some nice cool air blowing. It feels pretty nice. Look at how quick it began to work. We have fitted a temperature sensor. We actually stuck it in the air vent, so that we see the changes in temperature. What is it showing us? Oh, holy cow! And here I am thinking, why is it so cold? Already down to 11 degrees, oh my goodness! In my own car, the minimum temperature that I can set on my climate control system is 16 degrees, I think. But in here it's down to just 10. Holy cow. That is just... I'd better turn it away from me slightly. Because I do not want to catch a cold. Now honestly, this interior is starting to feel nice and comfortable. This has also got a very soft suspension. It used to be hot in here, but now it has gotten pretty cool. And the temperature just keeps going down. Take a look at that. Will you take a look at that? What's the temperature at the air vent? Seven degrees, amazing! I thought I was starting to feel cold. Where are we at? Six, amazing! But I do not want to catch a cold in this heat. I'm gonna pull over. This problem is gonna be an easy one to solve. The key is to bundle up before it's too late. There we go. I should be good to drive in comfort now. Yeah, this is quite a lot better. Yo, Vlad, I notice you're wearing a jacket. What's the temperature in there? I can't tell you the cabin temperature, but the air coming out of the vent is at 4 degrees. I'm sweating bullets in here. I'm feeling good all dressed up. If I were to stop somewhere and climb out looking like this, it's difficult, uh, but then it's not difficult in the slightest, is it now? To imagine what people are going to say and think about you. I definitely know what'll happen. But then who even cares? As long as it works for you. They're laughing at me for putting on this coat, but I want to see them drive this with no coats. When you get out it becomes hot, but in there it is anything but hot. Who's feeling brave? That is some really cold air. Now I understand why Vlad put that jacket on. The air is really cold. It is super cold, even though it's hot outside. And it feels very weird to be driving a car like this and having cold air around you. I mean, holy cow. There we go, and I'm freezing. Let me go get warm. It feels odd driving a car like this that's cold inside. My thoughts exactly. The weather is hot, but it was a good enough car for its time. But if they would have been fitting simple ACs back then, that would have been super awesome. So we've done some testing and the AC works beautifully. The temperature of the air coming out of the vent easily goes down to 2 to 4 degrees Celsius. And that is really cold indeed. 
So look guys, it appears that you can turn any car into something nice by means of fitting an air conditioning system that's cheaply made and very effective. So we've tried this out, it really wasn't difficult. I mean, eyes fear, hands do. Feel free to try this and drive around with pleasure. But that's it for this video, you saw it all for yourselves, hit you guys later.